All right, thank you very much. Now let's bring Kenny back. He's going to talk about the office market. Thank you. Thanks, Harris, and thanks for that girlfriend thing, too. Okay, examining the office market and valuing the office market shows some wide variations in lease rates, vacancy, and values. These variations of value differ greatly depending on the submarket, meaning suburban or downtown. And again, having a lender, appraiser, and a broker with the knowledge to know the difference of these markets. Now, the suburban office market remains as strong as it's been in the last four years, with, a pro with occupancy approaching 95% in suburban A and B space, and rents and sale prices showing a gradual increase. Now, keep in mind that most of that new growth is limited to one location or one area east of Green River Road. One of the larger office sales last year was located in this area. The sale of the Springleaf building of approximately 75,000 square feet that sold for $4.2 million or $56 per square foot to Old National. Now this sale included additional acreage for expansion. This demand for newer A and B space spurs development with new offices being built and filled in Cross Point Office Park with rates in the $14 per square foot range. We also saw the net leased office sale of three buildings, again on the east side, 1125 Professional Boulevard, or as you know at the St. Mary's Surgery Center, at $4.4 million and an eight cap. 2300 North Green River Road, as you know it, the Social Security Building, just sold for right under $4 million. 1421 Kimber Lane for a partial owner occupied at a million four ninety. Now we see this market remaining strong and possible new spec construction this spring. This strong growth feeds development of other business within that same area. As Gary mentioned, new hotel growth. Now, while this market is strong, the downtown office market is a totally different market in occupancy, lease rates, and real estate values. The only similarity between this market and the suburban market is the A space. Now, that is showing the most promise with rates from $12 a square foot in the former Integra building to $16.50 in the river, one riverfront place to $24 in the old National Tower. Now we saw one of the larger leases signed this year of 13,000 square feet to Stoll, Keenan and Ogden Law Firm in the old National Tower at $24 a square foot gross. The, the expansion of professional consultants into space formerly occupied by card management and we also saw four sales of full floor condominium space in the former Integra building. These sold from $25.50 per square foot to $42.30 per square foot. Now this different pricing varies in the same building due to first floor space, top floor space, and the quality of the build out. This allowed expansion of First Security Bank Harding and Shemansky, and availability of lease space that was investor driven. Now look again for this segment of the market to sustain gradual growth, being driven in a large part by the recent surge in the oil and gas market in the Illinois, in the Illinois Basin. This is bringing leasing companies, attorneys, and energy companies back to Evansville. Now, the sub-market of B and C space in downtown is a totally different story with a whopping 300,000 square feet of available space. Now this chart doesn't include several other smaller vacancies that we have downtown. So that number is really small compared to the reality. This market is where we see some variations in pricing, and again, some bargains are out there due to lackluster demand, and with some rents in the $9 to $10 per square foot gross range. 
Now, as rental income drops on these buildings, so does value. This goes back to what I said before about perception of value. An old appraisal or a high loan amount doesn't determine value in a different market. In the last year, we saw the sale of the Curtis building with approximately 80% occupancy for $1,730,000 or $21.35 per square foot. We recently handled the combined sale of two other downtown office buildings, the Court Building and the Fendrick Building. The Court Building was approximately 85% occupied, corner location, extra parking lot included, 58,600 square feet in excellent condition. The Fendrick Building was 68% occupied with a long-term state building or a state tenant with 33,400 square feet, also in excellent condition. These properties had a combined sale price of $1,160,000 and sold at a 925 cap. Then we have a building that was reported as sold at auction for $900,000 that in fact was bought back by the lender, 54,234 square feet, corner location, extra parking lot included, and in late spring will be 90% vacant. This property is currently listed at $2.5 million, or $46 per square foot. Now this is surprisingly close to the old appraisal and the amount of the mortgage. So is this an example of perception of value? The biggest news that could change the face of downtown and have the largest impact on downtown office space will be IU. And no, not that they're gonna win the national championship, but the announcement of the IU Medical Center coming to downtown. If this happens, it will have a major impact on our area and the downtown office market. Whether they choose an existing location or build new, this will impact Evansville and the tri-state economy for years to come. The jobs affiliated, the impact on University of Evansville, University of Southern Indiana, and Ivy Tech will be huge. The business and affiliation with all of the tri-state regional hospitals will draw new support for affiliate and support businesses. This recent announcement was no small task. This has been on the drawing board quietly for years and only made possible with the tremendous amount of work done behind the scenes by Dr. Stephen Becker of IU, our previous and current administration, Southwest Indiana Economic Development, and gauge. Even with the large vacancy rate that exists today in downtown, the development of the new hotel adjoining the Ford Center, the development of the new hotel, uh, the new Comfort Inn at the River House, the new project underway at the McCurdy, and the city's commitment and determination to downtown Evansville makes the Big E the place to be. Now my predictions for the downtown and for the office market are suburban growth will be gradual, but we will see gradu that gradual growth. Downtown A space, again, gradual growth. Downtown B and, spe B and C space definitely needs some help. But with the new developments, this will, the downtown will be a boom and help that B and C market.